the woman who questioned Trump's commitment to women, we now find out is a Bush plant. This is not going to go very well for the Bush campaign. And if, if anything, this thing has entirely backfired. We now have the Bush campaign confirm, confirming that the woman who confronted Trump was a staffer. Okay. Okay. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can prove me wrong, but I don't think that you're a friend to woman. How, what it. I knew I shouldn't have picked her. I knew I shouldn't have picked her. All right. So let me give you that answer right now. I respect women incredibly. I have had women working for me in positions that they've never worked in terms of construction, in terms of so many different jobs. I had a woman who was in charge of the building of Trump Tower many years ago before it was even thought, before anybody would have even thought of it and did a fantastic job. I have given women more opportunity than I would say virtually anybody in the construction industry. I have a daughter named Ivanka and a wife named Melania who constantly want me to talk about women's health issues because they know how I feel about it and they know how I feel about women. I respect women. I love women. I cherish women. You know, Hillary Clinton said he shouldn't cherish. Well, I said, I do cherish. I cherish women. My mother was one of the great people of the world, maybe the greatest ever, my mother. I respect women, and I'm going to take care of women. You know, Jeb Bush didn't want to fund women's health issues. You read that. You saw that. And then he took it back later. I will take care of women, and I have great respect for women, and I, I do cherish women. So I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. And I happen to be pro-life. Okay, I'm pro-life. Perfect. And he handled it brilliantly. The Trump questioner, you know, had called Bush the best boss ever. I mean, it, this, this is not that she did nothing to help Jeb Bush here. This is now hurting Jeb Bush. I guess she thought she was going to help him by setting him up. This is at the, uh, what was that, Joe Lieberman No uh, no Labels group, and which is a totally liberal leftist group to begin with. I like labels. Liberals, bad. <laughs> I'm just joking. Liberals are awful. Their policies are failures. I believe conservative principles, if applied, work. There's nothing wrong with being principled. Somehow... You know, the the idea that I call myself a conservative just to be part of a party, I'm, I'm, I'm a registered conservative because conservatism works. Limited government works. Balanced budget works. You know, not being all things to all people works. Energy independence works. Choice in health care and health care savings accounts will work. Choice in education will work. Secure borders work. You know, OK, no labels. I know that those principles work. Go with the principles that work. Anyway, it looks like the latest torpedo of attempt to torpedo Trump's campaign has now backfired. CNN is reporting the Bush campaign has, in fact, confirmed that the woman who tried to embarrass Trump by standing up and calling him not a friend to woman women is a, is a Bush intern. Yikes. That's not good. Anyway, Trump fired back. You know, saying the, the arrogant young woman who questioned me in such a nasty fashion at the No Labels event yesterday was a Jeb staffer. How can he beat Russia and China? That, that didn't work out too well. I don't know whose bright, light idea staffer that was.